morning to you. Captain Paulus here. I'm here to invite you to join me along the road of the Navigator in the center of Quebec. Uh, it's a nice little road all in history and, uh, and in nature along the St. Lawrence River. Uh, you're gonna see scenery just to cut your breath. Uh, come and join me. I'll show you how the people from here in the area have their roots deep, deep, deep into the, into the St. Lawrence. For my part, I've been navigating it for uh, over 20 years now. I'm the captain of the Rossignol, a nice little goelette, a really brave one. It used to be my grandfather and it was built right here on the, the shore of the Lake Saint Paul by the Cormier. Uh, they, they've made a nice and neat little job with it. Uh, now myself, I just travel along the shore and provide uh, all sorts of supply to most of the village we have along the shore. But uh, enough talking about me. I invite you to come and join me in 1900 uh, to, to discover this road at a time where the cars and the train did not took the place of the old sailor like me. Bullhead, catfish, pike, uh, pickerel, carp, uh, esturgeon, these are only a few of the fish that were fished here by the villager of Saint-Angèle, known at the time as the Bullhead Village, uh, well, Bullheader Village. At the same time, well, you can understand that villager from the village and history of the Saint Lawrence go really, really well together. Bourgeois family was one of those family who took great advent advantage of the St. Lawrence River. Uh, well, Charles Bourgeois uh, was the first one to propose a steamboat to do the ferry here, to do the crossing uh, on the St. Lawrence. From there, you can understand that the, the service has changed a lot. It was, well, since he was the, the first one, there was no dock here. He even had to build himself his own dock, all of wood, that he would tear down every spring to make sure that the, the tide, well, he would tear it down every winter to make sure that the tide in the spring would not take the dock away. And it has been going on for several years until the city of Trois-Rivières on the North Shore decided that it would require a license to make the crossing, uh, to operate the ferry. You can understand the people here from the village and the other parish in the area were not really happy about it. To a point that even if the bourgeois family were not the one with the license, they would still continue to use the bourgeois to cross to the other side. At some point, even people from the parish here in the other village village, they, they thought that they would do commerce directly with Montreal instead of Trois-Rivières, that way boycotting pretty much everything that come from the, uh, the North Shore. Well, you can understand that from there, uh, since people were not using the new ferry, they went bankrupt pretty fast, and after a few fines that the bourgeois family had to pay, well, after a few bankruptcy, they were, well, from the other one, they were able to take back the ferry uh, service and everybody around here was pretty happy about it. 